first, I want to thank some other people. I want to thank the, the ladies, the, the, the admins that work with our committee, leg council, all those people. Particularly, I want to thank the two ladies that work in my office over there that's had to field the emails and the phone calls because it's been quite a learning experience. You know, part of the people couldn't, can't read the English language, obviously, from some of their questions. A lot of them were constitutional attorneys. And quite frankly, there was an awful lot of people who were just very sincere about their rights. Nothing out of the ordinary, but their rights to protect themselves. But I want to thank them, and I want to tip my hat to them for the great job they did. Once you've read the bill and got a good understanding of it, then it's finally time to contact your reps. You can email them, but don't really expect them to have time to respond to every email. Or you can call them and talk to maybe them or somebody in their office. The main thing to remember is to talk to them or with them. Don't talk at them. As much as you think you know about the current law that you've read, there are things that you can't know. They are there around other lawmakers that are and are talking to each other about what can and can't happen. Their job is to get you as much as they possibly can in that year, not everything all at once. Because trying to get everything all at once will just get a bill that doesn't pass and you end up with nothing. Ronald Reagan wanted, if he offered something, if he got 70 to 80 percent of it, he would be thankful and try to come back and get the other 20 or 30. Y'all, I want 20 or 30. We can come back. Chip away.